All right, y'all, let's get some POV going. Shepard Shoulder Man, we back in this thing with my main, main, the Chevy Camaro ZL1, 1LE package. Yeah, man. So I'm finna be explaining in this video why I decided to choose a Camaro over buying the traditional thing with everybody else on YouTube is doing, practically buying Mopars left and right, Hemis, SRTs, Hellcats, things of that nature. And, um, what led me ultimately to getting a ZL1. So, um, the number one reason is because I've always, always, always wanted a Camaro. And if I was gonna go Camaro, then I'm gonna go ahead and do the top dog. We gotta go ZL1. This is a 10 speed automatic. Um, I don't know how to per se drive a manual for like daily driving. So I wasn't gonna go no six speed at all, I don't wanna be tearing up, burning no clutches up, cause I ain't got time for the car to be sitting in the shop. And I'm paying a whole lot of money for a car that I can't drive, you feel me? Right now she's dirty, she need to be washed real, real bad. Uh, I ain't washed in like a week, but um, yeah man, uh, I do like the appearance of this six gen. You got the big front fascia right here. Uh, allows a whole lot of breathing right here. If you didn't know, this bow tie is actually see-through or flow-through. It's actually called a flow tie. So that air can go in and that supercharger can be cooled by the air intake that sits behind there. Um, it's a cool little design. It's kind of like, you know, hidden in plain sight. If you didn't know, you didn't know it was actually there, right? And then this hood. The hood is like the number one seller for me. It makes the car looks like overly aggressive with this carbon fiber um, cow hood that's on here. It just looks just crazy, man. Um, it just looks great. Then you got the factory splitter down here that comes. And then of course on the 1LE package, you got the canards. This don't come standard on the regular ZL1s. If you got a regular ZL1 in this hole right here, you'll have your fog lights. It'll be fog lights right there. So you won't see this at all. Like, there will not be a canard there. There'll be lights right there, actually, right? And then on the back side, you won't have that big old wing. You'll have like a traditional spoiler. It'll be kind of low. Don't look all that aggressive and appealing to me, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, man, I did want my car in a different color. Um, when I wrote it down for a goal, a dream of mine, I did want it in a rapid blue, which is similarly almost the same color as what I'm wearing. Um, but I searched and looked for two years for this car, man. It took me two years to find this exact car, and I wanted it with a sunroof in it. I wanted carbon fiber cow hood. I wanted a carbon fiber dash on the inside. Um, but instead of getting carbon fiber on the interior, I ended up getting the uh, Alcantara on the dashboard. And I didn't get my sunroof that I wanted. Which is, you know, like I said, after two years of waiting and being patient, man, I just gave in. Because when I seen this car right here, I knew it was the one. I mean, it looked just like the Batmobile. I pretty much, that's what my wife called it. That's what everybody who see it said. It looked just like the Batmobile. And that's pretty much what it is. So that was the selling point for me, just how aggressive and how sleek it looks, right? Compared to Mopar's uh, Challenger, which I've had before. I've had a Challenger. Um, and they just real bulky. And, um, 
You know, it ain't really no body lines in the challenger like that until you get to the back end of it and then you get that one little swoop. But looking at the Camaro, you can see all the different body lines that's in the front of the car. Um, you got one here that's going into the uh, headlights. The one's going there on the sides. Uh, you know, on the hood, you can see the body lines as well. And then, you know, you get to the back of the car. Even in the front right here, it's got like a little... Not wide body, no fenders by any means, but you know, you got like a little bubble right there at your fenders. So, you know, it gives it a nice look um, overall. And my tires are big as shit. Um, they bigger than any Challenger, or Charger, stock wheels I've ever seen. Uh, if I'm wrong, please correct me. My front is with 305, 19. You know, 305 3019s and then the back is 325 3019s. So my tires in the back is like crazy wide. Matter of fact, I can actually show you one right now. So I keep a set in the garage um, in case I gotta switch tires out. But if you look, you can see how wide this tire is. Like it's my hand, it's like it's it's wide, it's almost two hand lengths across and I got big ass hands. So that says a lot in itself. Um, but yeah, these tires, this car eat through tires like it ain't nothing. So if y'all in the market for getting these fast cars, you better be ready to spend some money because it's not cheap to maintain these cars. Tires in itself is gonna cost you um, a bag. Shit, these tires is like three, four hundred dollars. A tire, one, one tire, four hundred dollars for one tire depending on what kind you get, right? Um, <clears throat> then, you know, you gotta keep your regular maintenance up on it, your oil changes and all of that. That's gonna come into factor. I don't really have a big issue with gas in this uh, car. And, uh, you know, when I do drive it, I drive it, you know what I'm saying? Cause I wanna feel, you know, how I feel, but it don't do too much, it don't do too bad on gas as long as it's not in track mode if i don't got it in track mode then it does fairly well on gas last time i looked at it, it was like 15.8 miles per gallon which ain't too bad if you ask me for a supercharged car lt4 engine so um you know but like i said and, and most of the time i'm driving in sports mode i don't never have it in tour and i rarely have it in track if i have it in track i might be going like a short distance just because i want to hear like the, the snap crackles and pops so I'll do that, but um, it ain't often that I'm in track at all. Um, I'm always in sport mode anywhere I go. Um, my startups in the morning, the cold starts, they be lovely. And mind you now, I, my, this car is still stock. I haven't done nothing to it yet, no air intake, no pulleys, no exhaust, nothing. This car is still stock. I done had it for a year now. I just wanted to enjoy it without tearing it up or doing something stupid to it. So I didn't have my fun with it at stock. I do like the power that it has. It's holding that stock, but I do want some more. So eventually, um, which I'm prepping right now to start getting into mods, but I'm trying to see what mods I actually want to do because I don't want to tear this car up and uh, board the warranty like it very badly. So I know I'm gonna put an intake on it. Uh, I want to do some headers. We got to change that exhaust because in my opinion, it's just like way too quiet uh, when I'm driving. Startups is cool, it's okay, but then after the car idles and calms down, it like the sound goes away. So it's like, the only time you really gonna hear this exhaust is when you getting on it. And you gotta be in sport or track mode to even hear it if you wanna get some kind of adrenaline going. So uh, we gotta do something about that sound and definitely wanna do that air intake. I've been looking online about uh, about these ported blowers I keep seeing from Kong Performance. I don't know. I'm a little iffy about it. Um, Cause you know, I think that avoid the warranty on the car. And I got a long, long time before this warranty expires or you know, any of that. So, you know, I just got some decisions to make. Like how bad do I want to make power? Um, because when you get into making these modifications to the engine guys, it just, uh, anything can happen. I didn't see plenty of homies. Uh, they cars tear up, uh, 
mind you, they got older cars that they're working on and modding, so they don't got brand new cars. This is a 2023. So they don't have brand new cars that they mod, so they're not really worried or too concerned about the warranty. Um, so they just doing whatever they feel like it. But like I said, this is a brand new car. I'm still under 10,000 miles. I hadn't even hit 9,000 miles yet. Um, so with that, you know, the modifications, I just gotta be real selective about what I do, how I do it, when I do it. Um, but I definitely wanna do some mods to the car. Um, I was just up last night late because I couldn't get no sleep. So I'm just on uh, online scrolling, looking for like different parts. So I know I'm getting ready to order some LED side markers. We got to get them ordered and throw them on because I'm tired of these orange and yellow ones that's on here. They ugly as hell and they don't match the black car. So I'm going to get some tinted LED white side markers and we're going to install those. Uh, the air intake, I'll probably end up getting at the end of this week. Uh, go, I was going to go with a Corsa Performance uh, air intake, but um, from, because I just wanted to be different, first of all, and then the Corsa, they got a fiber, they got a carbon fiber uh, gooseneck on theirs, right, which it looked it look crazy, it looked hard, so just imagine I got the carbon fiber cow hood, boom, I popped the hood, you got the carbon fiber air intake, but, you know, everybody says that the roto fat big goals is like the way to go, especially if you're trying to gain some horsepower and stuff. So, I'm going to just, with that, I'm going to go ahead and stick to the trend. Um, what everybody else is doing as far as that goes. And, um, shoot, I already contacted some shops about installing the stainless steel long tube headers for me. Um, I just got to get all that situated and figure out exactly who I'm going to go with. Because I don't want no damn check engine lights on. I don't, I, I don't want none of them dumb problems. I don't want none of them issues. None of that. When I get my work done, I want to see no lights on the dashboard. That's it. Install my mods and let me go on about my business. And, and I ain't got to worry about no issues down the road. Um, but that's that's pretty much it, man. Um, uh, let me pop the hood for y'all real quick, man. Show y'all a little something. I don't even really myself look at the engine bay too hard or too much, really. But I'm going to show y'all right now what we're working with. Let's see if y'all can take a look, man. So y'all see it. Y'all see the big LT4 supercharged motor. Like I said, I've been watching a lot of videos this week with guys doing the calm performance exported blower. And the majority of them, hell, they've been taking the, um, the supercharger off they sell. And then here, I don't know why the hell this cap is off. Like somebody was trying to bleed my coolant when I wasn't around. <laughs> so we're going to put that right back on there to be safe. Um, but yeah, everybody been making it seem like real simple. Like they've been taking the supercharger off they sell. Packing it up, melting it off the Kong, Kong sent it back like five or seven days, and boom, they putting it back on. But um, with that, like you gotta be able to know how to tune your shit. And I ain't gonna say head cap to y'all, like I know what the hell I'm doing. So I wouldn't even really know what the, I mean, I could, I mean, it's pretty simple, self explanatory. I could take all this shit off, but like trying to put it back together, I don't know, I leave that to the professionals, man. But I do wanna do some of these mods myself. Um, this throttle uh, need to be changed out, especially if I'm going to put the uh, the new air intake on there, that Roto 5 Big Gulp, that's got to come up off of there. I do want to put a, um, a smaller pulley on here for sure. So we for sure got to do that, smaller pulley, air intake, and then I think I'm going to add, uh, add the long tube headers on there and then get a coarser exhaust and i think that's pretty much all I, i'm really <laughs> willing to do as far as as far as the car goes right now y'all because like i said man i ain't trying to be avoiding no warranties or like messing the car up 
doing crazy stuff like you know so and i do get my car service with uh at the chevy dealership since it's so new and pretty much like when folks start working on your car they tell you to bring the car back to them so they can work on the car because they know the modifications that were done to it and the specific things that got to be done once you start changing all this stuff out of here so i mean you got to deal with that too um, i just found just stumbled across a shop um, around the way like a week ago and i'm gonna go pull up on them and see what they talking about never heard of them never seen them the only reason I found them because I turned down this road that I've never been down before looking for some new trucks uh, for my business. And um, shit, I went to the end of the road and they just happened to be a speed shop way in the back of us. I'm like, damn, I never knew this was here. So I'm like, man, I'm gonna have to pull up over there. But they had a, a speed shop um, for like cars like this. And then next door to them was like a tuner shop for the imports, BMWs, Hondas. I seen all kind of shit out there. So I'm like, damn. Might have to go pull up over there and see what they talking about for real. Uh, but I mean, y'all see it, man. Supercharger, it ain't like you ain't never seen one before. If you haven't, it's pretty much what it looks like. Um, you got the big LT4, you know, supercharger right there. It's all your normal pulleys, stock pulleys. Everything looks the same. Nothing has been changed out on this car at all. So, and then with uh, Kong, I see they port the blower, which gives it more room and more space to suck in and breathe air. So it's bigger than the one that um, GM put on these for some reason, they just real short. And then I seen um, another modification where a guy, he did something to his bleeder to where he made like another reservoir cooling or something he put over here in the corner for this. That way you don't have to go through that hell like trying to, you know, pinch all that shit down, push it and bleed your cooler fluid and all that. So I don't know, I might ask um, somebody about doing that though, for sure. And then we need a catch can for this oil. Cause I'm pretty sure it's some oil up underneath the supercharger. Uh, so we do need a catch can for sure. And then I'm gonna ask about that uh, reservoir coolant um, bleeder. Yeah, man, but I mean, guys, this, I mean, it's pretty much everything in here is stock, man. I don't know if you've never seen underneath a um, Camaro before, but this is pretty much all that's in here. You got Chevrolet Performance badging right there. Y'all can't see it too good. Let me hide it. Yep. Chevrolet Performance badging right there. You know how y'all little more, the new more, the new Mopar guys got their little last call badging right there and shit. But hey man, I got some bad news for y'all. Everybody that um that's out here going crazy and 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 um racing the body Mopars that uh y'all think's finna be the last ones. I got some bad news for you, my boy. You finna be real upset once you figure out they finna release some uh, Hellcats and, and, and Chargers and 392s and Hemis and all that. You gonna be real sick once you find out you paid that markup and your car didn't devalue like triple. You gonna be looking like a fool. But we gonna touch on that in another video cause I wanna make a video about that. Uh, yeah, Dodge is really tripping, man. They, they 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 robbing and scamming everybody. They is really robbing and scamming folks, man. Like, it don't make no sense how y'all keep saying that y'all releasing these products. It's going to be the last time you do one. The Durango Hellcat was supposed to be the last production model. They reproduced that. The Demon was supposed to be one of a kind. Now here it is, 2023. Y'all releasing a whole new demon. Like it's crazy, man. Y'all like y'all and y'all not catching on. Y'all just like, ooh, new demon. Ooh. It's a new jailbreak. Ooh. Like if y'all pay attention, all the Hellcats now are called jailbreaks. It's not even a special edition no more. Anything in 2023, if it's a Hellcat, it's a jailbreak. There's nothing special about it no more. Like in what? 20, when did they come out? 21? In 2020 or 21, or whenever they came out with a jailbreak, it was supposed to be in like a special edition cool. All right, boom, that boy right there got a jailbreak. Yeah, he got a red eye. Yeah, 
Oh, that's a superstar. Yeah. Superstar actually rarer than the demon, I think. Matter of fact. That's the only car they didn't bring back out. But hell, who knows? They might mess around and bring out the damn superstar again. Messing around with Dodge for real. You just never know. But I just, man, I mean, I wouldn't mind having a Hellcat, but I'm not finna go out here and, and pay top dollar and pay over MSRP like some fool and be out here with the same car everybody else got. And then, like now, all the new ones, they making pretty much every jailbreak challenger I see is a slim body. Like, that shit, man, who wants that, man? Nobody want no slim. After y'all done brought up the wild body, nobody want no slim body, man. Unless you just finna, you know, make some odds. And you know, you wild about it, but shit, who knows how that's gonna come out? You feel me? So, but let's get back on topic, man. Why I chose my baby. Uh, let me crank this thing up for y'all real quick, man. It's not gonna be a cold start, so hold, don't hold your breath. But I get it in here, and um, we'll try and get it sounding as good as possible. Non cold start, man. It's a non cold start. In sports mode, that's all I drive, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. She feel like she like more opened up, like something feel different, like like it was like popping and cracking more than usual today. I ain't did nothing to the car. I did go to a different gas station. Uh, maybe that had something to do with it. I don't know. But there we go, y'all. We at 8,400 miles on here. You know what I'm saying? My cooling temperature. Boom. Alright. All good. And uh, hey. Call me slow, I don't care. What the hell does this mean? What is this for? I know how to turn it off, but what is it? I don't know what that light is. I, I just been leaving it on because I don't know what it is, so I just been leaving it on. I don't know. But yeah, the car was acting real different today, but in a good way though, in a good way. I see we got 200 on the dash. That comes standard on any ZL1. You got a ZL1, you got the LT4 supercharger, you get 200 on the dash, guarantee. Guarantee. You feel me? ZL1 right here. All the ZL1s coming with the Alcantara stand wheel, heated stand wheel. Boop, turn that on. You can turn that back off. Okay. We got the cool seats to keep your behind cold in that summertime which is 80 degrees where I'm at right now. So that's why the car automatically adjusts to the temperature outside. If it was hot outside, it would go to warm seats. But since it's hot outside, it goes to cold seats, right? So it automatically does this every time you turn the car on without fail, especially even when you're doing the cold start, uh, remote start. So, and that's another cool thing. So in remote start, if it's hot outside, it's going to turn the AC on for you, full blast. If it's hot outside, it's going to turn the heat on full blast, which I thought was cool, right? So, I don't know who been in here playing with my vents. Got my stuff all closed. But, man, my, she need to be washed, and she need to be clean on the interior as well. So, we a little dirty, man. Y'all don't mind me, man. I just be getting in ride, man. I just, I just be so elated to get in this car that I so dreamed about all those years. And then I got one. So this is what I was telling y'all about. This is what I wanted uh, to be carbon fiber, but I actually ended up getting it at uh, Alcantara, which is cool. It, it's still cool. And we got the regular fabric headliner. This ain't suede. Like some of the Dodges you can get optioned out for a suede headliner. I guess Chevy don't got that option. I've never seen a suede, a suede headliner in a, a Camaro. 
Uh, but yeah, it's fabulous. I mean, who cares? Nobody's looking up there. And everybody keep telling me to put stars in here, but I ain't, I ain't that tight. Man, I really don't like all that electronic stuff on my car, man. I'm going to just keep 100 with y'all. I don't like all them damn lights, all that illumination shit underneath. If it don't come with ambient lighting already, which I take that back, I did put ambient lighting in my Challenger myself. So like all this, I put this same thing around in my Challenger and then in the flows, I put ambient lighting in my Challenger that I did have. Um, but yeah, man, I ain't trying to, man, you know what I'm saying? That boy Jay trying to talk me into getting some underglow lights and shit. I ain't, man, I ain't with all that shit, man. I ain't trying to do all that, man. That when you see all them fuck me talking about, man, bro, hey, bro, I only ain't drove my car in a week, bro, my battery dead, bro. I don't know what's wrong. Nigga, you got all them lights on there. That's what's wrong with it. You got headliner stars. You got lights in your damn headlights. You got lights underneath the car. You got lights in your grill. You want to light up your SRT badge? Like, man, y'all be doing the most, bruh. It be looking like a damn Christmas tree 365 days a year with y'all cars, bruh. I can understand. Cool, you want to put some lights in the headlights. All right, cool. That's a nice touch. Got it. And you put lights in your headlights, your grill, underneath the car, the back of your tail light. You got a strip of lights back there, your windshield, mirror, man. Come on, bruh. Y'all boy be doing the most, man. Chill out, man. Simplicity is a lot it's enough when you keep it simple right yeah man anyway back to the car so if y'all ain't never been in one this is the eight inch screen uh that it comes with it look rather small but it's supposed to be eight inches right and then boom you got this so this is the home screen right so you got everything is touch screen but you can also use this button as well right I see you, boy. Yeah, ZL11LE. One, one yeah, you ain't got one of them. Yeah. Uh, then you got the back button, of course. Go back to that. All right. So you got the audio button right here. Um, it tells you everything that's on there. Da, da, da. It's just basically like going to devices. If you want to go to AM, FM, Sirius, which they give you all that when you buy cars nowadays. This I didn't know about. I was I was shocked to see this which I don't never use Amazon Alexa ever, but I was shocked that it was in the car, right? Uh, go back to home, boom, and you got your phone in there. You can use all that, your favorite, recent contact, phone, yada, 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 I know all that. Navigation, I don't know if I got nav on here. Connect the navigation, let's see, get started. Uh, by clicking and setting, it's you now that you have and set the terms. Uh, we're gonna hit no on that because I don't need to get no uh, extra billing. Okay Exit nav All right, and you got why now uh, most cars nowadays y'all should already know most cars come with a hot spot in it so you can use Internet inside the cabin of the car that you in most folks will put it on like they SUVs trucks Anything they going out of town with or you like doing long drives in, it'd be good for that. That's cool. I'm not finna be using no Wi-Fi hotspot in no damn coupe. I just don't see the necessary need to, to so I don't understand why they would even offer it in uh, a fast car, okay? And then user settings, you can figure out who's actually driving the car. You can save the settings to each person that's in there. I'm not sure how many you can actually create, but y'all see it right there. You can customize it, different drivers. Your key can be used to automatically identify you. So I, I, my car came with two car uh, key fobs. Uh, your vehicle settings can be backed up and moved between vehicles. Oh, wow. See, this is all awesome. stuff. I've never played with none of this stuff. As long as I've had this car for a year, I've never played with none of this stuff. So y'all and me, we learn at the same time, just playing around. It's a, I don't be having time, y'all. Just be working like a crazy man. That's how I can afford this car, man, because I be working like a crazy man, okay? So I don't never have time to be just lollygagging and doodahing in here. You feel me? All right? Time and date. Automatic. Da, da, da. Y'all see what? Hey, today is November 8th, 133 p.m. All right, 24-hour format. We ain't in the military, we don't need to do that. Then you can actually use language. Okay, we can change it to Espanola. 
a Francis. I speak a little broken Espanol. Phones. Okay. Alright, we got multiple phones, of course. Wi-Fi network, that's what I was telling y'all about. So let's see. Alright, that's the houses and people around that's got Wi-Fi. Alright. And then like I was saying earlier, if I wanted to use Wi-Fi hotspot, okay. y'all out my info right there. It was giving me some, some info I ain't never seen before. Privacy, location services, voice recognition, sharing, types used by applications. I don't know what that's about. You got device remote access. Allowed devices can interact with vehicle features and access that I think that's the thing they were telling me about. Like I can unlock my doors, lock my doors, maybe even start my car from my phone, but I never did download the app. Display old auto turn display. I don't know what that is. Sounds in here maximum startup value. What is it? Uh, and limits the value of my audio system when you start your vehicle. Okay, uh, favorites. You want to do that? Oh, this got vehicle software. Okay, this is where the tuners be at, possibly. Uh, update, let's see. Check your device and network settings. Uh, 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 maybe not. No vehicle update. Preferences. What is it? What that's about? Download new updates in the background. Running applications. Return to factory settings. Okay. Okay. I go to apps. Android Auto. Apple CarPlay apps. Audio Climate. My Chevy. Navigation phone series downloaded Spotify. I don't even use Spotify ever. Driving mode. Let me see what this is. Engine, engine sound. Huh? Huh? Hold on. Let's see what's going on with this. Enjoy. Uh, adjust engine sound character. Let's see. Y'all call me slow because I've never seen this in my life. Wow. That shit just turned my engine down. Let me go back to sport. See if y'all can hear the change. Y'all listen. Oh, that's crazy. Listen, listen. I'm going I'm to change it. I'm going to change it real quick. See if you can hear it when I put it back. Those... You can't hear nothing. That's on stealth. Go back to sport. Wow. Never knew. Let's see if track changes. It ain't really changed, but I heard something pop though. That's crazy. I'm in sport mode still, but yeah. It turned that thing off. That's crazy. Hold on, man. We got we gotta do a little pull real quick. What the hell is that? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Hold on, man. Okay, that back in sport. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what that track so much. Oh, wow. Oh, that's crazy. That's a deep one. It just hit 2000. Okay, steer, auto, yeah, we ain't gonna play with that. We're gonna leave that alone. Uh, okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that was drive mode, climate and air quality. Auto fan, heated seats, yeah. Okay, comfort and convenience, what does that mean? Reverse tilt mirror off, chime value. Oh, that's that shit with that. The car be goddamn. If you get too close to somebody, it'll start beeping. Uh, remote lock, okay. Remote unlock light and flashlights, lights and horn. Remote door unlock, remote start auto cool. See? See, 
This is what I was telling y'all about earlier. See, remote start, auto cool seats on, driver and passenger. Remote window operation. Ah, oh, we got to do this in one of the videos. I done heard about it, but I ain't never did it myself. So apparently I can let both sides of the windows down with the remote. I'm gonna Longer than a few minutes later. My bad, y'all. I gotta figure out where we was because my phone just clear headed on me and overheated. But we finna get back to it. Y'all think we, y'all. We gotta figure out how to do this remote window operation for sure. For sure, for sure. Passenger, passive door unlock, driver door only. Oh, that's why I didn't unlock early when I told her to do it. <laughs> okay. Remote left and vehicle alert. Okay, got one of them. On. Oh shit, they got a teen driver mode. What is this about? Teen driver mode allows you to assign keys with customizable restrictions. Okay. Didn't know that. Now I know. Oh, ballet mode. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, we might have to get yeah. I do that later on. Could not connect. I ain't trying to connect right now. Shorty, messing up my video. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything in the car, y'all. I got to figure out how to do a launch. I ain't never did no launch yet. So that's one thing we gonna have to learn together. Um, we already went through all this. I'm pretty much like the quick menu buttons. Climbing is off. That's why the phone overheated. <laughs> and then you got all this. So, all right, let me show y'all the stuff I did show y'all. I'm gonna turn this uh, AC on just a little bit. I ain't gonna blow y'all head off because I want y'all to be able to hear me. <clears throat> all right, so, um, okay, back to the home screen. Boom. All right, so you got all this stuff. We already went through all this. There's a whole nother side. You got your apps. When your phone's connected, you got the My Chevrolet series. All star services in case anything happens. It's also up here as well. SOS, if you're in trouble, turn on On Star. They'll come on on the speakers and talk to you. Uh, climate, and that's what that looks like. Got your chairs right there. Do, 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 do. On the off, you can see, make sure everything's the same. There's the Amazon Alexa, Spotify. I think it's the last one. So ambient lighting, all right? Ambient lighting that's gonna change all these door panels. The light that's on top of here. Yeah, that's all I got. Oh, and then I got one in here too. So I got a light here on both doors and above the radio. So I normally keep it on red. Sometimes I'll have it blue, depending on my mood. And I'll change it to yellow. Y'all see how fast it changed. And then you can also do like a demo mode or a link into a drive mode. And that'll also change. Let me show y'all these right here. Cause these be looking pretty cool too. Yeah, you can two-tone them thing. You know, it's called red and green on them for Christmas time. Yeah, red and green. Merry Crema. Merry Crema. It look more like uh yellow and orange. More than green and red. I mean, well, on the camera it look like that, but in the car, it's, the car look green and red. You do green and blue, or you can do green at the top, blue at the bottom, or you can do blue at the top, green at the bottom. We swap them things around. Yeah, yeah. Or we can do like a blue and a light blue. That is like the ocean right there, if you ask me. Where I just came from. Y'all just took me a little quick little trip for my birthday, y'all, too, man. Happy birthday to me, man. My birthday was on uh, November 5th, if y'all didn't already know. Uh, shouted me out, you know what I'm saying? My birthday was this past Sunday. You know, I went I went out of town, man. Thank you with my round. We went shopping till we fell down. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. We went shopping till we fell down. I came back home with so much shit. I ain't even know it. I don't even shop like that. I love clothes. But 
But the thing about me is like I'll go shopping for like clothes. I'll pick up a bunch of stuff, right? Uh, tell me if y'all do this, cause I, I, I'm notorious for this, and this shit be making my wife mad, cause I do this all the time. So I pick up a bunch of stuff that I like or that I see that I want, and then I will walk around the store with them, da 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 da, woo woo woo, and then I'll find some reason to put them back. I don't know why, bro. I don't maybe it's something like embedded in me deep, like in my damn uh, subconscious. Like telling me like don't buy it, you shouldn't buy it or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's some childhood trauma. Like I couldn't get what I wanted when I was a child or some shit. I don't know, bro. Y'all tell me that is something that I, I always be wondering. Like I be noticing it myself too, but I don't be tripping on it. But like when my wife see me do it, she be like, why you be doing that? Like why you pick up some clothes and then put it back? Like buy yourself something. I don't. Know. I just don't be doing it, bro. But on this vacation, like. I just went crazy. Like, whatever I saw, I picked up. I went and hurry up, went to the register before I changed my mind and put that shit back. Like, I think maybe out of the whole trip, I think maybe one one time I did it out the whole trip this time. I put I put something back. But other than that, the whole shit, I would buy everything I picked up pretty much. And we just like hurry up and get into the register before I got down. Before that shit kicked in, I was like, put it back, put it back. It's like I got a mini voice in my head like, don't do it. Put it back, put it back. I don't know what that's about, man. I don't know. I truly don't. But I don't know. Yeah, man. Y'all see me, man? I truly don't have no seats in the back. Don't mind the Pringles can. My daughter left them back there. I see that boy got that stick back there. Y'all yeah, keep a stick on me. I keep a stick on me, homie. Wireless charging right there. This don't work unless your phone is bare butt booty naked. Okay? So don't think you finna throw this thing on here like this and it finna charge. Yeah, it's not finna charge, sir. Yeah, it's, it's not finna charge. It's got to be bare butt booty naked. See what I'm saying? And this is a see-through case. So what's the problem? What's the issue? What is the issue? You see that boy, Jay done left me a message. I'm making a video, Jay. I'll call you back, brother. But yeah, man. Red seat belts all throughout the cabin. Even though nobody sit back here. The only time somebody back here when I got my two daughters with me. I got my oldest in the front and the youngest when she in the back. And she tall, and she tall, just like me. So the one in the back, pull thing, her knee be up against the back of the uh, back, and her sister don't be wanting to push the seat up for her. So her knee be in the back of the seat, and then she be complaining. About your knees, like, what are you doing? I can feel your knees. Stop moving around. <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, big ZL1. Oh, let's see. Ignore, because I don't know who that is. I'm going to show y'all something in the cluster gauge, though, um, that we can go and do real quick. So let's go to, oh, we got performance. We got the audio, navigation, phone call, settings, options. All right. Oh, launch control right there. There you go. Might be there. Unit standard display theme. Ah. Display theme. Let's go to the side. Let's go to technology. All right, now look. Pay attention, y'all. We're going to hold on. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna go out real quick. We're going to go out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Uh, y'all see how the screen look right now, right? Pay attention. Pay attention now. All right, boom. Let's do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Y'all go to settings or options. All right. Now we are on display thing. That's what we on right now, right? Right now it's on standard. Standard is what y'all was just looking at. Now pay attention. That's standard. That's the display stick screen we were just looking at. So we finna change it from standard to technology. All right, boom. Y'all see what just happened, right? All right, let's go back. So y'all can see exactly what did happen. Boom. See the whole different outlook. Everything look different now. See what I'm saying? Everything's different. 
Why is she now I'm getting 15.2 miles per gallon? It was 15.8. Average speed. You see, y'all, I don't be speeding, y'all. I, I be I be under the speed limit, man. Y'all do right. Fuel range, 217. It was before that, before I started revving. All life was at 60 before I went crazy revving for y'all. This, I got to fix. Oh, I'm glad I just seen this. So that tire I got put on, I got to drop the tire pressure on that, on that one. Because usually my tires be at like 29. This one's at 30. These two front ones need to be changed though. So I got to get some tires for them. Hey, so. Yeah, I just want to yeah, show y'all the speed limit and all that. Y'all can see it right now though. And I don't know what this screen is, but it's always blank. Maybe it's the performance page or what have you. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I don't really care for this right here. I mean, it's cool, but I mean, I like the other way where all the gauges go across the top. That looks better than me. I don't, like, I don't really care for this one. So we're gonna go back to our standard screen, go back to options. And it's on technology, click over to the right, go back up to standard, hit select, and boom. See, don't that look so much better? Cause you can see everything. You see the oil temp, coolant temp, your gas gauge right there. And then we good. That's all you need to see, really. Eight out of ten pages, six to ten pages. Info pages. Let's click on that and see what that is. Vehicle information. Let's go to performance real quick. Yeah, my G-Force be up there for sure. That be in the heads up display. Friction bubble, performance timer, lap timer, oil temperature, oil pressure, battery voltage, chance fluid, tire temp. Yeah. So that's hard. Let's go click on G-Force real quick. Oh, I should have got that. Source software. Uh huh. Heads up display. What this about? Let's see what this is. Oh, it must be the brightness. It's pretty good. Where is it? Launch control disabled. Okay, we're gonna have to go somewhere one day, guys, and do the launch control. Because I ain't did it yet. I told y'all I done had this car for a year. I ain't did nothing worth nothing. For real, for real. Units, uh, US. <clears throat> man, if somebody know what that is, man. Let me know for real, bro. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that. I might have to call my boy D and see what that is. Call DJ, see what that mean. Uh, what else? In here? That's it, man. That's pretty much it, y'all. We gonna go back. Performance. Let's go here. Oil temperature. Oil pressure. So they just give you everything right here in the middle, let you know. Mm. Tire temperature is normal. Wheel slip, see? Mm. Oh, that's 30%. That wheel. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Zero to thirty percent. G force is right there, and that's pretty much it. Uh -huh. mm, yeah, that's, that's all the performance pages right there. That's pretty much it. Yeah, we definitely got to get, um, so for the next few videos, y'all, I'm going to work on, um, this little simple stuff ain't nothing too, like too crazy. I'm going to figure out how to let these windows down from the remote. And then we're going to do some launch control videos in here, which is going to be good because I got good ways to capture that footage inside the cabin and outside. So them should come out epic. So I'm going to do... Um, a GoPro facing me, and then we'll do the 360 on the back so y'all can catch my reaction and we can see outside of the car at the same time. Um, 
what else is in here, man, that, you know, made me choose this? Oh, me, pretty much, uh, I, I chose the ZL1 over getting a Dodge because I just like the inside of the cab. It still look, it really looked like a cockpit, like, for real. Even though it's not a Corvette, and a Corvette always got, like, this little lumbar thing right here with all the, like, different buttons and stuff, it still kind of feel like, like you in a cockpit, like, you know? You just gotta be in the car to know what I'm talking about, but that's the feeling I get when I sit in here. And my Challenger, uh, it was like kind of like normal type feeling. It really didn't feel like, you know, nothing was special about sitting in the driver's seat uh, compared to how I feel sitting in here. Um, and these seats is to like totally different. Uh, you all see I got the Recaro seats. Uh, so you got all this right here to hug you when you hit them corners and them turns. And this car hit corners so good. Like, man, I can't tell you the speeds I've done hitting corners. But when I tell you I feel safe and secure and I don't worry about nothing when I'm going around a curve at a decent amount of speed, man. When I was in my Challenger, I was always worried about, like, sliding. And it wasn't even a V8. <laughs> you feel me? So... That ought to let you know, like, the two differences between drivability because, man, when I used to be in the Challenger, it used to be just, I didn't feel like I had total control over the car. I had a sports mode in my V6, and I did burn out them tires uh, before, like, a few times in a V6 mode, and I didn't even have a traction off with them. That, that V6 do turn some tires. So, look, if y'all looking to get into a car, like a muscle car, and you on a, like, a extremely tight budget, get, I don't care what nobody say, man. It's, it's all about how you feel and you know your pockets. Get you a V6 SXT or a GT Challenger. I don't know about the Chargers. I know the Challengers was hidden. My V6 was just a regular SXT. I didn't even have a GT. And a GT basically just means your interior cockpit is upgraded. So you got like all the Alcantara uh, seats, uh, uh, the extreme, like, you know, premium looks and all that that the other cars be having. But that's the GT line, pretty much. That's all the GT is. You get an upgraded cockpit. Inside of the car, the cabin is just luxurious looking. Um, but I still will go with the SXT. Um, because it's going to be cheaper than a GT is. And there's a sport mode button in there that you can put on. And it, you can feel the difference when you do hit it. Now, are you going to keep up with a scat pack and the Hemi? Hell no. Nah. But you can still have fun in it. And you can look nice in it um, at the same time. Like my Challenger that I had was the SXT. And I used to rent it out. People used to rent my car. And it was like a blue color with like the black accents, black wheels, all that. Man, that car stayed rented out. Like the car paid for itself. I only paid a car note for that car when I first got it. Like the first few months when I got it. Once I put the car up for rent, I never paid a car note for that car. That car was paying for itself three times in one month. And I just had it on Turo and that was it. <clears throat> so that ought to tell you like, People still want to drive them cars. They don't care how fast it is or if it is it the fastest, none of that. As long as it looks good, it drives to get them where they trying to go, then cool. Now, I do have friends who have SXT model chargers and challengers, and they hooked them up, like the engine modifications to them. Um, somebody went overboard and blew theirs, but fixed it, blew it again, fixed it. Now they good. They, cause you got to figure out the tweaks to it. <clears throat> cause it's only so much you can do before you start messing up stuff. That's what I was talking about in the beginning of the video with mine. I don't want to go too crazy on the mods cause I don't want to tear nothing up. But anyway, I got another buddy, uh, him and his wife, they're in a car club. I think they're the presidents, but they got chargers. And they got SXT chargers, but you would never know that looking at their car because they didn't did so many modifications to the cars. Now his that he drives, like it even fooled Jay. Jay thought it was a, a damn scat pack, a 392 the whole time. The car's the SXT. He switched out the bumpers on the front grill, changed the lights, and then he changed the uh, bumper that's in the back too, and the hood. 
So the whole time, Jay thinking it's a uh, 392. I had to go and show him on Instagram. I'm like, nah, bro, this is what the car used to look like. This is the, the real car. Like, what he did to it was, like, how you can, you know, I ain't going to say finesse, but you can put your own spin on it, your own taste. You know what I'm saying? And he, he be doing a damn good job. Like, he do his raps and all that stuff different. Uh, he gonna have all his logos around it. My boy is, uh, I think, about that life car club. So, yeah, shout out to him, man. He always and his interior be doing his interiors too. Last time I seen him, when he refreshed his charger, and like now it's like an orange and gray or something like that. But like his whole cabin, he didn't like decked it out to like match the car on the outside. It looked fine, man. It looked fine. But yeah, man, everybody can, you know, you can. Do things in your own budget and still make it your own. You ain't got to necessarily jump out here and get no Hellcat or 392. I definitely didn't do it. Um, shit, I jumped in the V6 Challenger and was happy as I could be until I jumped in it. ZL1. Now I'm really happy as I can be. No complaints. Um, if y'all in different states, I'm in Georgia, so the gas is not that bad on me. Anytime I fill up, this car is between 60 and 65, and that's on premium gas all the time. I don't put nothing less in here because I'm not messing nothing up. So I've heard the other states, yeah, they be paying like $89, $90 to fill up. Here where I'm at, I'm paying 60 and 65 every time, and that tank going to be full. Every time. Like I just feel, like I said, I just filled up not too long ago. I don't know if it was the gas station gas that I used this time, but she she showed was acting different today. I don't know what was going on, but yeah, damn sure was acting different. <clears throat> Matter of fact, um, we're gonna go ahead and pull her out, man, for a second, man. Let's get some uh, some good POVs real quick, y'all. Oh man. She don't be playing with him. Help me playing with him. Woo! Woo! Wait till I get around that corner. She is a wild 
wild girl. She is a wild girl. Listen here, listen here, listen here. Man, she get the goddamn what? That booty get the shaking back now. That thing get the wiggling. Ooh wee! That little booty get the twerking. Let me see. Hold on, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Oh, he gonna mess it up. Oh, he, oh, he messed it up. He pulled out on me. Damn, he pulled out on me. Oh man, he messed it all up, y'all. I was finna got done. Uh, damn. Matter of fact, let's go over here. We might, we we might be able to do lost control in this video. We just, we just might be able to. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can figure it out. This might be a perfect, a perfect spot. Let me see. Okay, how do we get back to lunch control? Uh, nope, performance page. Do, 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 do. Ah, oh, shit, here come the damn Migos. They fucking up everything. It's folks over here now. It'll be cat to get the hell on, man. I gotta figure out how to do it though, for real. Uh, let's see. Go back. Performance. Migos, like, what the hell is he doing? Lunch <laughs> control disabled. Uh, hold on. Let me get down. Let me get back centered. Let me get back centered. Let me go all the way to the back. All right, so let's say launch control. Launch control disabled. Man, why is it missing? All right, launch control disabled. Dude, why is he disabled then? Is that what that is? Why is he disabled? What the hell going on? Hold on, let me try and do the witch card. The what it said, let's see. One, two. Competitive mode. Just turn the traction off. Charge control on. Competitive mode. Ah, hold on. Ah, oh, man, that's not what I'm trying to do. Okay, hold on. I think I know it. Okay. All right, cool. Parking. Parking brake set. Man, what? Man, I don't know, y'all. Yeah. I give up, man. I ain't even gonna cap you down. I give up, bruh. All right, I'm gonna have to go watch a video on how to actually do the launch control. Because um, I definitely don't know what I'm doing. Definitely. I ain't even gonna fake it. Like, I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna give y'all two more pulls, two more passes, man, and then we gonna call this thing a day, man. Settings, I'm all goddamn discombobulated. I'm just messing up, y'all. I'm messing up, messing up. I'm messing up, messing up.
many G's I got up to, but I, I seen seven. That was the, the, the lowest. Shit. safe and sound I'm getting ready to pop the hood cuz I know my I know my shit is heat so so I'm about to let her chill down with this hood open cuz we just beat on her oh man Engine bay do need to be clean though. I ain't gonna lie. It look like it's oil already in here. Just mm. good. Yeah, cause I don't know what all this is. I see like some diamondness in there, even on the air filter. This shit is exceptionally dirty for it to only be one year old. I don't really go nowhere too much. Like all this, look how dirty this is. Yeah, you know, I'ma definitely have to get under here and clean up under here. I need to buy uh, a pressure washer and get me a soap gun so I can just foam wash it. We'll do it in a little bit, but. This EOS, my 2023 ZL1, 1LE Camaro. Yup, this is her. I couldn't be more proud of my decision to buy this car over a Dodge any day. Like, I keep getting Hellcats pulling up on me and uh, trying it, but it ain't working out too good. And I ain't even trying to be funny, y'all, but I'm just being dead serious. Like, 
I didn't have multiple Hellcats pull up on me. You know, 392s, they come a dime a dozen, so they always pulling up. When I first got it, I used to play around with them. But then I'm like, man, I'm wasting my gas, man. Go on about your business, bro. So they get mad now, and uh, they just drive on by me um, after they figure out I ain't finna play with them. But if I see a Hellcat, or he pull up on me with the you-know-what, then, hey, man, we, hey, it is what it is. We just got to go handle our business in Mexico. <laughs> yeah. But if y'all haven't watched my last video, make sure y'all go subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, share. Like all my other videos. I got plenty of content, man. I drop shorts in the meantime, between time, when I'm not dropping full vlogs. But I appreciate y'all for staying tuned. Uh, look out for the next video coming real soon. Um, I'm going to debunk this myth of why everybody feel like it's only African Americans that drive Dodges, Mopars, Hellcats, 392s, and all of that. Um, which is, it's not, man. Everybody, it's a car culture, man. Everybody likes cars. Everybody likes Dodge and Mopars because they the it thing right now. And it's a whole nother reason why you see so many of them online. But we'll get into that in the next video. Like I said, it's your boy Chevy, man. Stay tuned. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, share. And we out. I'll see you in the next video. I'm gone.